Hey guys, welcome back to Creatures, Caverns, and Crafting. Today we're going to switch gears up a little bit, talk about Dungeon Crawl Classics. I'm going to open up the book, give you guys kind of a sneak peek. This picture in particular really states what this system is all about. A lot of grim, dark fantasy. If you're a fan of old school, retro style RPG games, this is probably worth the, uh, the look at. I'm going to flip through it a little bit more here. We're not going to be concentrating on the entire book. Mainly today, what I want to do is cover the funnel concept. Uh, this concept really sets this system apart from other RPG systems. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, you're going to start with level zero characters. You're going to go through hell. The odds are going to be stacked against you. And what I thought I would do today is have a little fun with that concept. I'm going to use some miniatures for you guys so the video is a little bit more exciting. We're going to go through some encounters, maybe some dark dungeons, some caverns and really show you what the funnel system is all about. I um, won't be taking anything from any modules from DCC, but we're just going to have fun with it. So stay tuned, guys. So we're going to start off by rolling up a level zero character. You're going to do this two to four times for uh, characters. It really depends on how hard you might even do more than four level zero characters. Basically, same ability scores as always. Uh, you've got strength, agility, stamina, personality, intelligence, and luck. Uh, each one of these I'm not going to go really into depth with, but what I want you to understand is that when we roll these up, the initial roll is what counts. So if you get a really bad roll, this will go to your character. Uh, also, you're going to roll a d4, and whatever your stamina uh, bonus is, that will be your hit point. So uh, easily one hit point so once we're done rolling up i wanted you guys to see these badass characters that i had these guys are truly going to kick the shit out of anything that they encounter <laughs> hold up guys our characters are going to look more like this now announcing our 2019 level zero dungeon crawl classic adventurers manis the farmer with his trusty pitchfork mabel the baker Isaac the Herder, and coming in the most smelliest, Cooley the Gong Farmer. Eee! That's right, guys. Each one of our characters comes with a randomly generated occupation. I really like this. It grounds the gameplay. It also highlights how dangerous an encounter can be. You're not some elite warrior to start off with. You're a baker or something else. And the choice you make could easily eviscerate you and obliterate your whole entire party. Each character will start with a weapon and a piece of equipment associated to their occupation. In the case of Manus the Farmer, he'll start with his pitchfork and he'll also get a hand. <coughs> Mabel the Baker will receive a rolling pin or a club and she'll have a sack of flour. Isaac the Herder will have his staff and his trusty herding dog. Cooley the Gung Farmer will have a trowel and basically a big pile of doo-doo. Now with our characters rolled up, let's see how the funnel actually works. Quickly, let us find shelter. Where is the lord of this keep? Look, a hidden door. Uh, I'm frightened too, girl. <sighs> <laughs> Defend yourselves! Together, push it to the hole! We must turn back. We cannot. The passage is closed. We must push forward. The passage is narrow. We have lost another soul. Look, it's a passage to the outside. Ah! 
Hey guys, I hope this video encourages you to check out Dungeon Crawl Classics. The unique level zero system is truly a blast. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. As always, please follow, subscribe, and stay safe. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.